What's up? What's up? What's up? You too. Hey, this is your boy TC of Green Reaper Transport. Once again, we are back. We are back and we are alive. Check it. Man, I'm getting pushed all over the road today and I ain't here carrying nothing. But my little flatbed, that's it. <laughs> Hey, we gonna get into that today, you feel me? Yo, we back, we back, we back, baby. Hey, check it out. Today, it's gonna be a little short video. Just pointing out some of the obvious things, but a lot of people overlook. Let's talk about me getting pushed all over the road today. Several drivers are getting pushed over the road today too. But the bad part is, they carrying RVs. I ain't got nothing. And I'm getting pushed left to right on the road as is. The wind, the wind is no joke. It ain't no game, it ain't your friend. I'm wondering if y'all can hear the wind just whistle through my truck and I have all my windows up. Let's see. You might hear it, you might don't. But uh, let's see what the wind looking like right now. Ooh, that can't be. I guess it is right. Wind speed is 24 miles an hour. The gust is 33.8. Little well-known secret that was told unto me is that somewhere in your insurance policy, Barry, somewhere in there, says that if you travel while carrying or pulling one of, the, one of these RVs or transporting a RV you know, the driveway, you, you, you do a driveway, uh, and the wind is over 25 miles an hour, your insurance is null and void. That's what I'm hearing. Don't hold me to that, but to the fact. But I do know that when the winds do reach up to 25 miles an hour or close to, the yards and ghosts should shut down because they don't want you transporting anything in that wind. Some companies still let their drivers pull their they campers. That's on them. But I don't want to be the one paying out of my pocket 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 grand for a camper. Just, just facts. So, listen up, take my advice, or don't take it. You're grown. It's your business that you're running. But think about the consequences. When the wind get up in the 20s, pull over. You call your dispatcher, tell your dispatcher, hey, wind conditions are not favorable right now. I can't move. Can you push my delivery data out. Your dispatch shouldn't even argue with you. Like our dispatchers, I know what they say. No problem. Just get there safely when you can. That's what they say. I'm hoping the other dispatchers do the same thing. Now, I always tell y'all, I'm telling y'all from two different companies. The company I'm with right now is Dynamic, Synergy, 
It's the other company I was with. Uh, Judy. She does that. I used to call her the angel, the angel of synergy. Because she looks serious as day, but she's sweet as can be. She'll tell you, hey, just get there when you can get there. Get there safely. She ain't trying to push you to get there. The dispatchers at Dynamic are not trying to push you to get to a location, which can risk you damaging or destroying the camper. It's going to cost more to replace that camper and to pay off the camper that you destroyed because you're driving in harsh conditions when you know you could have stopped and let the wind pass by. The wind, the wind is going to change. You might have to knock out early that day, get up in the middle of the night and take off driving when the wind is calm or calmer. You think I'm joking about this wind? I'm not. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post a. Uh, I'm gonna post the clip right here. you guys about what not to do. And uh, I'm going to have to shut it off because I'm going to stop. And here's another indicator that the wind is blowing real strong. Look at those flags. Those flags are straight out. Straight out. There's a bigger one. Straight out. 
you should not be pulling an RV at this time. You should be sitting on the, uh, you should be sitting at a truck stop or a rest area. Now, you see how the wind was blowing those trees. You see how the wind was blowing that flag. I know I did some commentary in there. Um, I'm doing this video after I done did that, after I done took that clip and did the little commentary. So I might reiterate some things, but you see the RV that was still on the road? I can't even show you this one, but you might see it pass by. Just watch. You got another driver pulling RV right there. You saw him? Still pulling RVs in this wind condition. I have a flat day, step day. So I can pull through the wind and not have no issues. Even driving a regular truck, I shouldn't have no issues. But if the wind is strong enough, it'll still push your car or your truck over the road, which it is. Not as bad as if I was towing two campers on the back, no. It's rarely doing it to me. But you're pulling a camper, which is a huge wind blocker. The wind hits it, it's gone. Then you're trying to hold it steady on the road and you can overcompensate just by a little. And you flip it. Come on guys and girls. We don't need anybody out here losing their life or losing money. You supposed to be in this industry to make money, not lose it. Remember? Make money, not lose the money. Unnecessarily. So, the winds get up in high speeds. Find a safe place to pull off. A rest area, a truck stop. big old parking lot if you're in the middle of nowhere and you ain't, you don't have any of those pull off onto the um to the uh i wouldn't say the off ramp do it on the on park or the um get off on the off ramp and park on the side of the uh, on ramp if there's room wait it out i told you guys about the apps that i use for uh, the weather. Windy is one of them, W-I-N-D-Y. The other one is Wind Compass. Wind Compass tells you exact what the speed is at your location. Windy shows you the wind speed, rain, the wind gust, snow, all of that. And both of those apps are free. So please be the smart transporter. I, I'm just looking out for you and I'm looking out for myself because you could be that transporter in front of me when I'm not carrying nothing. Out here trying to fight the wind and flip over in front of me, which I'm at risk of colliding with you. So, use your head. Remember, sometimes you gotta think outside the box. These are one of the things that's inside the box. Don't avoid the box. You still need it. Because inside that box is common sense. Outside the box is creative thinking. <laughs> but reality is reality. So, to all my transporters, Be mindful of the wind. Be mindful of the weather. 
it is not your friend and it is not gonna help you out. Wind, rain, slip, ice and snow. They work against you. So be smart about how you work with it. That's my, that's my little mix for the day. 10 minutes. Ooh, I'm at 10 minutes. I might have to. Y'all yeah, gotta at least get it up to 15. So I gotta I gotta do a little bit more talking just so the algorithm can pick it up. Um, a lot of these big trucks on the road are having difficulty of staying on the road. But you're not a big truck driver. You don't have that leeway they do. Trust me. If, the, if, if your insurance is going off the 25 mile an hour uh, wind speed, it, we all should know that insurance can play the game of manipulating stuff. Meaning the wind, gun, the wind speed could be 18 miles an hour and the wind gust can be 26, 27 miles an hour. But they said the wind speed. Yeah, wind gust is, is a type of wind speed too. So if you flip because of the gust and they don't see any other reason that you, that you flipped your trailer, there's a strong possibility they gonna go off the wind gust and you're not covered. So, if I'm wrong about this in the insurance policy, please, y'all let me know. But this is a little something that, that I heard. And then I do notice that yards shut down when the winds get up to 25 miles an hour. I notice that. There's a reason behind that. And if it's not for insurance purposes, please tell me why. Like I say, based off of what I noticed and from what I was told by other drivers, <laughs> 25 mile an hour is the magic number. So if I'm wrong, shoot me a comment, shoot me an email. Let me know. Let me know where you found it at. Let me know where you got the information from. So I can backtrack it and trace it myself to verify and to come back on and clarify it for everybody else. Well, what do I got? Yeah, I got about four more hours to get to Goshen. Um, Oh, touching bases on something. I did a phone, I made a phone call last week when I was booking my hotels because I wanted to do the hotel review for you guys at the Fairfield in Gosha. Um, the Fairfield in Gosha does not, and I repeat, does not have a transporter rate. This is what, uh, the reception is told. They do not have a transporter discount. So that kind of shoots it down. So if you go online and look them up, the price they have online is typically, the price is gonna be at the hotel. So there is no discount for transporters. Excuse the vibration. Once again, I'm on a bumpy road. But, uh, so I might, I might do the Hampton or the Best Western when I get in. It all depends on 
uh, who had, I know that uh, Best Western has transporter rates. The Hampton, I'm not sure about, but I might do one night at one and one night at the other one. Just to give y'all a room review. But I want to go back to the comfort because rumor has it they have this one room with the hot tub in the middle of the room. And I want to I, I want to give y'all that experience too and let y'all know what it's like in that room. <laughs> so I'm debating right now. So stay tuned. And I'll let you know when I get there. Because I'm not going to end this one. I'm going to wait till I get there and I, I end it then. All right. So stand by. I'll see you guys when I get in Goshen. What's up, you guys? I'm back. I'm sorry I didn't do the review. I was editing the film and I realized I didn't do the review. <sighs> first things first, I did not get the room with the jacuzzi tub in the middle of the room. <clears throat> it shocked me. When I um, when I called for it, they told me that they had already rented it out. So it sucked. And I was like, Duh. I was like, really? I was trying to do a review on the room. And it was like, well, it's already rented out. Um we could give you a room. we could get you a room with a jacuzzi in it. I said, okay, I guess so. So they gave me one with a jacuzzi in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when you walk in the door, which <laughs> this is the door right here. It's typically the same setup. Uh I'm already in the room, already done laid out. Y'all can see some of my stuff on the on the counter right there. But uh you got the bathroom. With the shower, like always. Big mirror. But uh, when you come in the room, it's not bad. It's typical. You got your iron. Yeah. Ironing board, little closets. You got your bag rack right there. And then, hold on. Hmm. What's that? Right around the corner? Well, look, we got a little bar. Check it out. Let me go ahead and flip the camera around for you guys. Make this a little better. Boom. Got your refrigerator, the sink, your coffee maker, everything. Then, what's on the other side of this? Oh, snap. We got a jacuzzi tub. That's what I'm talking about. And check this out. Going up, going up. Boom. They got the spotlights. Yo, that is so sweet. Then, of course, you got the room. The setup. Got a chair over there. They got the microwave over here. Typically, it's over there, but I think the other microwave went out. Nice size TV. And, man, the jacuzzi tub is nice. It, it, it is nice. For some reason, I got to pay uh, the regular room rate because I was requesting. I requested that room, and it was not. Uh, yeah, it was not available when I when I um, got here. So they gave, and I think they was booked up, or somebody overbooked, so they had to give me the room for the same rate. So that's the room, and that's my time. Remember. Stay safe on the road. Don't travel in harsh weather conditions. So stay safe, stay blessed, and y'all know my motto. <laughs> the road may be grim, but what we gonna do, y'all? What we gonna do? We gonna reap that money all day. All day. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Y'all stay blessed, keep the rubber side down, and remember, use your head. Stay blessed.